In this review, it's a cycling jersey and some bib shorts that had me saying, meow. Hi, it's John and welcome to Cycling on a Shoestring. Another review for you. We're going to do two for one today. We're going to do a cycling kit, a jersey, and some bib shorts at the same time. Now in this review, we'll take a look at this. I'll put them on. You can see what they look like. Uh, we'll also take a look at sizing, which is a little bit tricky with these, but I'll give you some advice on that. And I'll tell you about how you can get a special deal on these just because you watch this video. Now, you're looking at this jersey saying, it's a cat? on a bike. I got contacted by a company called Ulactive, who makes this. O-O-L-A-C-T-I-V-E. Website is ulactive.com. And they asked me if I wanted to review some of their gear. So yes, I told them I would. But I always tell them, I will be honest about your gear and I will provide you with some information maybe to make your product a little bit better. So you're going to get my honest-to-goodness review on this, as I always do here at Cycling on a Shoestring. Now, why am I carrying and holding a jersey that's got a cat on a bike? Because I went to their website and they've got some really cool stuff on there when it comes to different types of jerseys. Of course, they've got the more traditional stuff, the classy thing you might wear on your bike, but then they've got comic book stuff and they've got things like this. So let's take a quick look at their website. I'll come back and we'll take a close look at this clothing along with the bib shorts. I'll try them on and we'll take them for a ride right here on Cycling on a Shoestring. Here's a look at the Ool Active website. It's oolactive.com. Com. I'll put a link in the description below and I'll actually put a promo code in there for you as well so you can get a deal on some of the gear if you pick it up from this website. Just a heads up, free international shipping on orders over $79. Prices are pretty low here, but if you decide to buy something, you might have to pick something extra up. But again, over $79, is not going to cost anything for shipping. Up here in the top corners, you can see we've got men's clothing, women's clothing, got stuff for kids, accessories, which would be lights, gloves, cell phone holders for your bike as well. I'm going to go to the men's here and show you what I picked up. And of course, you've got cycling kits, jerseys, bib pants, and shorts. And over here, your different types of patterns you can get on them. Love animals. Well, that's what I found interesting about this. You can actually buy something that matches your personality. And if you look at the page here, you can see they've got the sloth cycling team up here. Uh, we'll finish when we finish, it says on there. You've got the turtle cycling team. We'll get there when we get there on there as well, which has the massing, matching bib shorts. You've got two different colors of octopi on there. And then you've got cats over here. I have to go to the second page to show you uh, kind of a close-up and how much I paid for the kit that I bought. And I got this one right here, with is, which is the uh, cat riding the bike, the ride, <laughs> riding cat. What I liked about this was the fact that the shorts were a little different color. I used to have some blue shorts, which I really liked, but pretty much everything I buy these days is black. So this is blue with black, and of course, got the matching jersey as well. Price, $69.22 Canadian. Remember, that's for the jersey and the bibs as well, but you can buy them separately if you want. Now, just a heads up to you, another link in the description below I'll put a link and the code in the description, but you can save 20% if you buy something off the website. A special deal for you just because you watch this video. But that's the price, $69.22 Canadian. But the question is, are they good for being out on the bike? Well, let's try that out and uh, we'll see. And I'll give you a full review on this riding cat jersey and the matching bib shorts. So here we go. Here is the cycling jersey from Ulactive. And you may be asking me, John, why a cat on a bike? <laughs> okay. I have cats. I love my cats. I have three cats right now. I have Blue. Here's a picture of Blue. This is my little cat, Red. And this is my little girl cat. We named her Smudge. And they're all just fantastic. I love them to death. So I wanted a cat on a bicycle. And this is what I picked. I like the color as well. It's a little different. That lighter blue color with the darker blue shoulders and sleeves on it with the little accent on the sleeve as well, which I, I kind of like. Now, as far as the jersey goes, it's 100% polyester. You know, it's a fairly thick material on here. Let me get out my light just to give you an idea of what it's like. Okay, so you can see through here what it's like on the material. But on the side over here, there is some mesh 
Okay, so you can see that it's, it's a lot more light coming through there. So you've got that on both sides, which I think will allow a little bit more, you know, uh, breathing of the material, allow some air through there, particularly on, you know, warm days. So it's okay from that standpoint, uh, nice material, fairly light, and I think it's just going to be fine for that. I'll put it on in a few minutes. You can see what it looks like when I do get it on. This is a size large. I'm going to get into sizing in just a minute, and we do have a full length zip on this all the way down to the bottom so you don't have to pull it over your shoulders with one of those half zips. So that's the front of it. Let's flip it around here, and on the back, you got the cat on the bike again. So this means all those people that you're passing regularly out there on the roads and pathways can admire your cat riding the bicycle on the back of your jersey. Collars, nice on it, up high enough here in the front and back. Probably protect you from some of that sunlight you get on the back of your neck. Always put sunscreen on when you're riding. And on the back, you've got your three pockets, which you normally see. Let me grab a water bottle, give you an idea how deep they are, how wide they are. So nice size water. Uh, nice size pockets on there to fit a water bottle in. And at the bottom down here, you can see there is some reflective material down here, which I really appreciate. When I'm going out and I do commute to work very early in the morning, I'm out on my bike 3, 3 30, 4 o'clock in the morning. I always grab a jersey that's got some type of reflective material. It's got that little tab back there, which is nice. And on the bottom, You've got a rubberized section across the bottom to keep it from sliding up on you while you're riding. So that's the jersey. Let's take a look at the bib shorts and then we'll talk about sizing. To start off, I've got the camera zoomed in on the upper part of these shorts, the actual strap section. We'll take a look at the bottom half up close in just a moment. Take a look at the chamois as well, which is very important when you're riding with cycling shorts. As far as the straps go, Wide, nice and wide. You want that on a pair of bib shorts if you've not worn them before. You get narrow straps that can kind of dig into your shoulders a little bit, particularly when you're not wearing an undershirt. And we've got some very warm weather coming here in Calgary. We're looking at 29 today, 33 tomorrow. So I won't be wearing an undershirt. And on those days, I want to wear a nice wide strap with a little bit of mesh. And this is a little more mesh-like on the top compared to the bottom part. Looking on the inside, it does give you information in here regarding what they're made out of. And these are made out of 80% polyester, 20% spandex. So let's take a look at the bottom part of these shorts and then we'll talk about sizing, which is very important if you're buying this jersey bib short combination from Ool Active. Here's a look at the bottom half of the bib shorts, the short section, if you want to get to that point. And as far as quality goes when it comes to stitching, you know, it's just fine when it comes to the stitches and the seams here and around the chamois. I've said on other videos, I've actually had some, you know, high-end brand name shorts that have come apart literally at the seams around the chamois. This is triple stitch, no problem with that at all. Now, as far as the cuffs go, on the inside, you've got a rubberized section on the cuff. It's very stretchy, so it's gonna fit around your leg. I'm gonna try them on in just a moment, tell you how comfortable they are or not, uh, but there is lots of stretch in these, so they should feel fine around my leg. Now, as far as the backside goes, pretty much the same in the back, and of course, they match nice Nicely with my little cat jersey that I'll have on in just a moment. Most important part of any short, I think, is first of all fit, but then the chamois. So let's turn these inside out and take a look at the chamois, and then we'll put them on and I'll take them for a ride. Here's a look at the chamois, and like so many different types of cycling shorts these days, you find better chamois in them. I, you know, we're so lucky these days, 25 years ago, wearing something like this would have been an absolute dream. But you get different densities when it comes to the padding in the shorts these days. And here's uh, the Ulactive one. Let's take a look and see if we can get a good eye on these. You can see this says anti-shock gel on here. So it's much thicker in these two places, which would be your sit bones. And there's narrower, this is not as thick. This is a lot thinner because it's right under your groin. And then you get a little thicker here. And then the narrower part or the thinner part on the side. So it's not going to bunch up under you while you're riding your bike. So it looks like a good chamois. I'll have to take it out and see what it's like when it comes to, uh, to riding. Now, as far as sizing goes, I did a separate video from the Ool Active website, which I'm going to show you right now. I had a large jersey, as you remember, the jersey I've got with the cat on it is large. These are 4XL. So let me explain that to you right now by going to a video I shot from the Ool Active website and their sizing chart. Here is the men's cycling kit size chart at the Ool Active website. 
And here's the jersey for me. Now, first off, just read what it says at the top here. We recommend to purchase items one size bigger than your regular size for a more comfortable fit. Now, jersey size wasn't um, much of a problem for me. I've got this in inches, okay? You can also check it out in centimeters if that's more important to you. But I sent Ulactiv my measurements, and I sent them a chest size of 41, okay? So the 41 to 43 is large, which is the size of jersey I'm wearing right now, which fits me pretty good. I probably could have gone with an XL, but large is okay, so I'm all right with that. Now over here, with bib shorts and shorts, this is when things get a little bit odd for me. I sent them a waist size of 34 inches, all right? And if you look down here, the largest size they've got is 31.5. What I'm wearing is a quadruple XL. So the sizing is a lot different, and I'm outside of this number here, but these fit me pretty good. So I would suggest to you, if you're going to order right off here, and you're below a 31.5, you follow along with these. If you're above that, get the quadruple XL, all right? Now, it does say down here for custom size, send us an email at support at ulactive.com. So if you're interested in buying something, contact them right here and ask them what size you should wear, and they should be able to help you out. So here I've got the jersey and I've got the bib shorts on, and how do they feel? They feel just fine. Jersey size at large, is just right for me. I said maybe an extra large. No, large is just fine for me. It doesn't feel tight on me. There's enough space in there to give me a little bit of air movement, particularly on hot days. Sleeve length is good. And at the back, the pockets come down far enough uh, the bottom part of my back, which is just great. I can reach into the pockets good. Anything smaller, I think I'd have a hard time getting into those pockets. Now, as far as the bib shorts go, I showed you the sizing on these, and these are a quadruple XL. I'm a 34 waist. Any, if you're larger than 34, these are not going to fit you. I feel comfortable in these. I feel that the cuffs along the bottom are fine. I'm not tight or anything like that, but they're snug. Certainly, I'm going to get some good aerodynamics wearing these shorts and these bibs. As far as the straps go on the shoulder, I always find when you're wearing bib shorts, if you stand up in them, you're going to feel a little bit of tugging here. But once you get on your bike, you don't even notice them. And I think that's going to be the case. Once I get over the drops on my road bike, I'm not going to notice that at all. I always feel there's a little bit of tugging in the shoulders. But then again, I have a longer torso. My wife will tell you this that I have a longer, I'm longer on the top than I am on the bottom. So jerseys and things fit me a little bit different than the average person. Overall, it feels pretty good, but be wary of the sizing and get in touch with that email address at the Ulactive website if you're not quite sure if you're buying one of their kits, the jersey and the bib shorts. But it all comes down to the ride. What's that chamois like? How does it feel like on the road? Let's do that right now on Cycling on a Shoestring. I'm out here riding along the Bow River in Southeast Calgary right now, trying out the Ool Active kit that I've been uh, showing you on this video. And I've been riding for about 25, 30 minutes or so. My thoughts so far, okay, I do have some things to talk about, but I'll do it at the end. Tell you what I like so far. I like the jersey. I think the jersey is just fine for the price you pay for it. Uh, it's just great for me. I like the color of the shorts for sure. Certainly looks different looking down and seeing a different color other than black. Of course, black kind of goes with everything. So, you know, if you've got blue shorts, you kind of want to have a jersey that matches because, hey, listen, you want to look good while you're riding as well, right? And I do have some jerseys that'll go fine with the shorts. Uh, it's a very hot morning already. It's only 10 o'clock and it's getting really hot out here. Don't feel overheated or anything in this clothing so far. Haven't been out for a long time. But so far, looking pretty good. But some things have crossed my mind, which I'll pass on to you uh, at the final part of this video, which is coming up in just a minute. So I'm back at the house after my ride in the Ulactive kit. 
I'm going to talk about a couple of things here. Let's start off with the jersey. As far as the jersey goes, you know, it, it fits good. It's a comfortable jersey. I kind of like the color of it. And, of course, it's got a cat on a bike on it. So that's fine with me. Pockets are good on it. Everything's just fine. It's a large, so sizing was good for me. No issues there at all. Now, when I was walking out of the door this morning before the ride, my wife said to me, take a look at the cat on the front of your jersey. So take a good look at that. And now take a look at the cat as it's portrayed on the Ulactiv website. And here it is right here. They don't look the same. The transfer on this jersey does not look like what it does on the website. Certainly not as clear. This looks like it's been through the wash many, many times. So I don't know what's going on there, but a little disappointed with that, okay? It might be, you know, a quality control issue, but I bought the jersey for the cat on the bike and the cat on the bike doesn't look like what's on the website. So that's something they maybe can get straightened out. So from that standpoint, that's the jersey. As far as the shorts go, uh, let's talk about the chamois. The chamois, it's a pretty good chamois. Is it the best chamois I've ever had? No. Is it the worst? No. Is it somewhere in between? Yeah, it's kind of in there. You know, it's one of those chamois you'd wear or I would wear on kind of a middling ride. Uh, is it 40, 60K rides? Fine for that. I have certain shorts I like to wear on long rides, three and a half, four, six hour rides because they're just better on long rides. These are good for those shorter rides and I think they're fine for that. As far as the sizing goes, this is when everything is all out. It's, it just doesn't seem right to me. These are 4XL shorts. And that's very strange. Normally when I buy a large jersey, which this is, my shorts are going to be either large or extra large. Okay, That's generally on all the clothing I bought cycling over the years. If I have a large jersey, large, extra large shorts every time, not quadruple XL. The sizing is very odd at the Ulactiv site. As a matter of fact, these are for somebody with a 31.5 inch waist, I'm 34. So these feel a little bit tight on me, particularly around the middle in the diaphragm. The bottom part is better. There's actually lots of space if you're a man, if you know what I'm talking about. But in the middle part, it's a little bit tight and kind of constricting. These are not for XLs, okay? These would fall in the regular sizing, if you're talking North American here, and just excuse me for using that, but that's what I buy, these kind of fall in the medium to large sizing in regular sizing that I've purchased in the past. They certainly are not quadruple XL. I've got a friend that you've seen on this, uh, on this channel at times, he's six foot six, and he's got you know, 20, 30 pounds more than me, he's a big guy. He'd be in a seven, eight XL in these, and I've never seen that before. So the sizing's right out need to straighten that out on your website. Now they do make custom sizing and the custom sizes are the same price as what you would buy just off the website. But custom has a couple of different connotations. You think about custom as it's special, it's custom made, right? But also can be a bit of a hassle. If I'm going to buy some cycling gear, I don't want to buy anything custom because it's going to take longer to get. Um, that's just a problem to me. And if I'm going to the Ulactive website and I check out their sizing chart and I see 31.5, I'm just moving on because I'm a 34 waist. So it's something they need to straighten out as far as the sizing goes. How is the clothing overall? I think it's pretty good. I mean, 69 bucks for a jersey and a pair of bib shorts, you cannot beat that. If you're cycling on a shoestring budget, it's good. Um, you know, this is a cat on a bike jersey. You may not like that, but if you go to the website, there's lots of you know, more traditional styles, more classy styles if you want to go out and just look normal out there as opposed to somebody riding with a cat on a bicycle on your jersey. But overall, it's not too bad. It's not the top end stuff. It's not the bottom end, but it certainly is pretty good stuff. But the sizing is certainly the issue when it comes to me. That is the thing that kind of stands out for me. It seems very off when it comes to the bib shorts for sure. I hope this video was helpful to you. Not too long, but I like to be thorough when I do these things. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. We're working our way right now to a thousand subscribers. So if you're watching, just click on subscribe for me. That would be terrific. Ring the bell for notifications. I've got some more uh, clothing coming up. I've been working on a bike computer for quite some time, something for if you're cycling on a shoestring budget, so that's coming up in the future as well. I appreciate you watching. I'll see you next time on Cycling on a Shoestring.